So uh, Tom Brady, one of our favorite topics, right? He's got the big game this week. Yep. Uh, not just this week. I mean, when the NFL schedule came out, this was the game everybody was talking about. Brady goes back to New England uh, as neutral observers here. I mean, what do you think? Is this a big deal? Uh, I think so. I think a little bit last week, if you go back uh, to the Rams game last week, you might have been thinking about that game a little bit too much, though, and not concentrating on the Rams. But that being said, I think, you know, Tom Brady has waited for this moment. He's going to do it in front of the stage. It's, it'll be the highest rated Sunday night game probably in about six or seven years. Years, and it's going to be fun just to see the dynamic of what it's going to be like pregame, what it's going to be like at uh, postgame, what comments are going to be like, who's going to win. I mean, the, the Patriots are rebuilding. Obviously, we see that Tampa Bay is looking to go get another ring. So I love the drama of everything that is going on here. Remember, Tom Brady left New England thinking that the New England Patriots thought they made a great decision, and it turns out they did not. It's all sizzle, no steak. All sizzle, no steak. I, I love the drama of it, but we've all seen these characters play out before. This game's going to be terrible. The Buccaneers are going to go in and blow them out. The fans are going to cheer like crazy for Tom Brady because he brought them six Super Bowls, right? Bill Belichick and Tom Brady are going to cordially shake each other's hands, say three words to each other before the game, not talk Two at them all. we know. Yep. They're not going <laughs> to shake hands after because Belichick and Brady are under no obligation to do it, and that's how it's going to play out. What drama is What's there? What's the line on this game? I, I mean, it doesn't, it, I mean probably about a, about twenty points. But, <laughs> it, but but here's the thing about it. What do you mean no sizzle? I want to see the the awkwardness, the the anxiety, the moment these two teams will finally meet. They've never really met before, so this is gonna be fun. Any other two characters in this situation, I would say there would be awkwardness, anxiety. Those two guys are awkward and anxious. Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, just in general as human beings, right? So I I don't know. It's nothing I haven't it seen before. Ends of the the spectrum. Absolutely. Like, look, it is what it is, man. Like, this game is not going to be entertaining. Yes, it will. If Tom Brady throws a touchdown pass, do they cheer or do they're they They're going to cheer. How do you not cheer for a guy that won How do you not touchdown? cheer? How do you not cheer? I have a, He's I have on a the opposing team. Yeah, here's the I thing. I have a different take on this thing. Brady, Brady got over on the Patriots last year by winning the Super Bowl. I mean, that was obvious to everyone. This is Belichick's one shot. He's got a good defense. He's got a great defensive mind. I'm just saying, he could throw it out there. If he may, I'm not saying he's going to win this thing, but I say he can make no. Life difficult for Tom Brady and what's going to be the biggest game of the year for him, mm -hmm. not for Tom. Sure, uh, that he can he can make a point saying, "Look, I've still got it." Look, man, you're a great writer. We've known that for a long time, <laughs> and you wrote a great story. It ain't going to happen. What is this? He's got a good defense, man. Get out of here with this stuff. They've beaten two really, really bad teams. Really, really bad teams. Right? That could only be one of them. <laughs> okay, excuse me. I'm sorry. One really, really bad team. They've whatever. The Dolphins. 17 points and a team with the Bills shutout week. I mean, come on, give me a break here. There's there's no drama to this. That's still in personnel. They're just generally. Yeah, I mean, it could go by points and stats and stuff. New England's got a, a good defense. Okay. They've got a good defensive mind. I think he can make a game of this. And there's a lot more at stake so when I see it. There's a lot more at stake, I think, for me. For Belichick than for Brady, and I'll stop. I agree with that, but let's talk personnel. You got great defensive personnel. Will you look across the other side yeah. of the ball at what the Buccaneers are running out? I mean, you could have a Pro Bowl defense, and the Buccaneers are still going to have a chance to win. A couple of picks? I think, does he I, get a couple of picks? So, so Tampa Bay, I think defensively, will go after the rookie quarterback. They'll make things a little bit different. If they do get a fumble or a pick six or whatever it is, I think it extends that lead. Tom Brady plays more comfortably, throws more touchdowns. I, they might even run up the score. I don't know if Tom would come out of that game. It, look, I want it to be entertaining. Everything you guys are saying, I want all of these things to happen. But it ain't going to happen. You really hate Tom Brady. Oh, no, why would I not hate Tom Brady? I hate Brady. I hate Belichick. I hate this whole thing. I hate everybody in that Who stadium. Do you hate more? <laughs> uh, I think I hate Belichick more. I do hate Belichick more because he's overrated <laughs> and he's not the genius that everybody thinks he is. It's really easy to look like a genius when you got guys playing on tiny contracts to play with Tom Brady. Can I That's make, why he's going to perform well this Can week. I make one suggestion? Root for Tom Brady because it helps you in the AFC East. Fun, but you think I'm worried about the Patriots and the AFC East? <laughs> yeah, no. Look, whatever. <laughs> one more game. What does I it think do? the Pats cover. I'll, I'll, I think the Pats will cover. Whatever that line is, I just think there's a, a lot okay. more take for them. <laughs>